Okay, so this is the Ludus. This is our home base. We can upgrade it throughout the game and it's got a lot of function in here. So let's take a quick look at what's going on. This is the outer front yard. These are training dummies. Later, we can change them into different types of training dummies, but right now they're just basic training dummies. And if we wanted, we could go up to them and we could attach a recruit to each training dummy and that recruit would gain experience over time. So this is a great way to help level up some of your other recruits so that they're more useful when you go to use them. Over here, this is our main point of interest in the Ludus, the Doctori. A lot of the function is gonna come from him. You can see he shows how many Doctori points we have. We currently have 43. We can go over tasks. We've received the battle dressing task. And here's our task window. If we highlight, we can see we need to learn how to make a battle dressing, which can be used to heal you in battle, but only from the back row. And then we gotta show it to Doctori. Now that's really important. It's not easy to heal in battle. You have to be in the dynamic row to be able to be healing. Someone in the front row is too focused on the battle to heal. And battle dressings are the best way you can heal plus using a battle dressing will increase your first aid skill so each following battle dressing will get stronger and stronger but that's what we got to do we have an objective to create a battle dressing and we have to do this task before we can actually leave the ludus this tasks option here with the doctori is where we're going to find all of our main tasks moving forward so if you were looking for story tasks this is where you want to come for then we can learn skills and here he talks about learning the skills how some of them work and you can see we can pick a character now when we're learning skills here, you can see we start out on our class skills. So we got Thrax and here's our options so far. You can see Thrax Slam is available and it costs 10 stamina to use. Now we can see on this side, the Thrax Slam costs 300 job points and we currently have 535. That's why we can purchase it. But there's also max HP, max SP and first aid. We can increase those as well here by using job points. But let's go ahead and pick up that Thrax Slam. Now over to Stara, let's get her throw sand because this is an amazing skill. It possibly blinds your opponent and a blinded opponent is a very weak opponent. So if you can keep them blinded, you're gonna be in a much better position to win these battles because they can get tough. Let's get Net Yank for Brannis. For Thex, we'll get Wave Crash. So now they each have a class skill. Then learning styles. Here we can learn new styles that we haven't unlocked yet. Provocator, Secator, Aplomaki, Scizoris, Lachiarii. These are just some of the unlockable classes in the game, but these are some good ones. And finally, Doctori points. If we click on that, it takes us to where we can spend our Doctori points. If we click it again, it just tells us how much we currently have. But Doctori training under here, we can see Doctori skills. And these are some basic skills that we can learn. Kick, tackle, taunt, taunt will gain aggro. And then Veritum. This is actually a throwing spear, so you have to have a Veritum to be able to use this, and you'll use up one Veritum each time you use it, but this is a spear that can hit the back row for characters that don't have that ability normally. We also have basic stat training. We can get some training in some of our basic stats to improve them that way. And special stat training isn't currently unlocked, so we can't do that just yet. Also, we have Ludus Beds. This is an important one. Like I said, you need beds to have more recruits. So if you want to buy more beds, you can do so here and then they'll show up down in the basement. Then there's Ludus Storage, which is important. You can increase the amount of storage here. You can only hold so many items on you. And if you're running out of space or you want to clear up some of that clutter, you can put it in your Ludus Storage. But if there's not enough room, you can increase the storage amount there. Another important note, any item in your Ludus Storage will get carried over to your next playthrough if you start a new playthrough. And there you go, that's the Doctori. He's pretty important. Now you see when we came over here, this little water droplet appeared, that means we can drink water here. So let's take a quick look. Take a quick drink, which heals 10 HP and SP, or we can drink and relax for one hour for a full heal. So if we choose this option, one hour of the day will pass, but we'll be fully healed. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Your group takes a break and fills themselves with refreshing water. Your group is now bloated and cannot drink any more water until you walk it off. And I believe it was 800 steps. So once I take 800 steps, I would be able to drink water again. Fame Tribute, this is a little side bonus reward thing in the game. Each character has their own amount of fame, and every time a character hits another 100 fame, they get a new fame reward. And the more fame they have, the nicer the reward can be. So whereas someone with a level 1 fame reward might just get some bandages, someone with a level 5 fame reward might get a fancy bronze sword. Up here you can see we've got stuff you can look at. 
there are two undamaged vertum in this bunch. You decide to take them. So there's a couple of those throwing spears. So we have them. And as we did that, you can see Explorer points popped up. As you interact with the world, you will increase your EP score. At certain score milestones, you will be rewarded with various manners of bonuses. This is a passive system and holds no bearing on the story itself, but is in place to reward those that seek to discover all of Gladiator's lore or those that seek to unlock all of its bonuses. So what I'm getting at is, the first time I interact with any object that's interactable, I'll get another explorer point. And the more things I interact with, the more exploration I'll get and the more cool stuff I'll get. So right there, I just got another explorer point. Right here, another explorer point. Pretty cool. And let's go down into the basement. Now this is the main basement, but it is expandable later through quest lines and doctori points. There's some stuff we can get in here, and there's also the stuff to make the battle dressings. So we need to find that stuff really quick. There's part of it, the cotton bolt. And there we just found the bandage. Now we should be able to make the battle dressing. So if we go in, do a little tinkering, do some medical tinkering, battle dressing, you can see we have the needed ingredients that's crafted, and we did. And we got our first point in tinkering. And now we have that battle dressing and we can show it to the boss. First, let me look around. I know I hid some things in here, something that's useful. I think the shield I can grab, if I remember correctly. Yep, a bracketed scutum. Excellent condition, we decided to take it. I love secrets. I am a big fan of secrets. I hide them anywhere I can, so keep an eye out. You never know what you may come across. Now right here, this is a portal to my little testing cheat area. This normally wouldn't be here unless you unlock it. There is a secret way to unlock this in a normal game mode, but I'm not gonna reveal that just yet. But anyway, if we go on to it, we can go to our test zone. We were given a pocket portal for doing that. And if we look in our items, I believe it's a special. Yep, right there. Test zone pocket portal. You can use this to port back to this zone from anywhere in the game. If you want to port back out, you go to this port. It gives you some options of where to go. Here you can sleep. Here I test fishing. And then here all these <laughs> owls, you can buy different things from them, but it's free. So every bond in the game, for instance, is right here. You can see Jeldon's bond makes the user resistant to mud damage of all types. So that's a pretty useful bond right there to have. And there's weapons, armor. These have all weapons and armor in the game. So if you want to test out any different weapons or armor, you can find them here. You also have the option to recruit every player here. No, I didn't want to just do it. Oh my gosh, it just gave me every player. Well, as you can see, I do have all the players now. I will have to go to the auto save and hopefully fix that. But let's keep looking at this place because normally you wouldn't ever get to see it. <laughs> Boosting here gives you the option to boost your levels and skills and styles and all that. Here we have loot. You can get all sorts of important type of loot for testing there. Here we have battle and you can do a test battle right there. Step on that, you'll heal. Step on this, you'll get damaged. Here we have the two crafting stations, the cooking station and the forge. These are important unlocks throughout the game. And we can start a new game plus right here if we want. And all this stuff over here, this is all just a lot of the common stuff that I reuse over and over in the game. So it's right there for me to grab and copy and paste into the game itself. And that's why that's all there. So enough for this little look behind the scenes. Let's go back to where we were. All right, we're back out. Let's go ahead and talk to the Tori again and finish up our battle dressing. Here we go, our group has received 25 experience for completing the task, congratulations. We may now leave the Lutus, do be careful. To grow our Lutus, we need new recruits. We can currently only recruit six members until we increase our bed count, of course. I will add this task to your log. Be sure to check it often. Choose your recruits well. Each recruit will have their own special ability. Take that into consideration when recruiting. See me again when you have recruited enough to fill the current beds. I would also like for you to revisit the arena board in the arena. The arena board will be vital to our development. I will also add this to your task log and do be careful when choosing your battles. So we've received the tasks recruiting and to the arena. And it takes us into our task log so we can take a look. We now have the active task right there of recruiting. It's a doctory task. And you can see here, we have to grow our numbers. We have to get six recruits and this is the reward we'll get for doing it and the current objective. And you can see right there, we have zero six. That's how many recruits we currently have. And that'll go up as we get closer to our goal. Then we also have over here, arena tasks to the arena. 
Now, this is a very sandbox open world game. There are two types of main story tasks. Doctory tasks are story tasks, but so are arena tasks. And you can play the game by doing either or or both. It doesn't really matter. Side tasks and alley tasks are completely optional. Same with these, but you want to take a path. Do you want to go through the main story through the doctory? Do you want to complete the arena story? But anyway, to the arena, we gotta go find the arena board and we'll get a little bonus of fame and XP. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. We only saw this in the intro. There's stuff everywhere to read and look at. There's a lot of books in there, Ludus, that'll tell you a lot of the basics of the game. There's some wheat we can gather for making bread. This book here kind of explains that in order to cook, we need a cooking station. Here's our main meager sort of throne room for the Dominus. And then over here, we have our bath area. Let's go ahead and fill up on those explorer points. And we'll take a look at the next floor. Now the Ludus is pretty empty now, but as we get recruits, it'll fill up a lot more. Our Ludus storage that I talked about earlier, this is it. This is where we access it when we want to put things in or take things out. So remember where to find it, second floor of the Ludus. And these are also our main beds. If we want to sleep for eight hours, we can come and do so here, but we can only do it at the nighttime. You also may notice the Ludus isn't in the best of shape. We got cracking on some of our pillars. We got torn stuff. We got just a mess all over. That all can be fixed up through through the doctory points as the story unfolds. Let's grab some more stuff, some fresh water. Nothing in that hole. Record of names, that's awesome. The record of names is a one-time use to rename a character. And you'll see that reward window just popped up, which I accidentally made go away, but that was from Explorer Points. If we go into info, choose our settings, go to visual and skin, we should see our new window skin. And there it is, the sand window skin. This was a skin from when I first started developing the game, our first window skin. So that's how you unlock that one. Right here, you'll see there's a map. Let's collect this map. With this map, return home, you will be able to fast travel back to the Ludus. This will cause two hours to pass. Returning home is blocked from dangerous areas if playing on hard difficulty. And the map can be toggled from the tool window. Since this is our first tool, we should go over some things. First off, you'll see the map in the lower right hand side of the screen when you are on the map. Important, you can change your active tool by pressing either the page up and page down buttons on the keyboard or the LB and RB bumpers on your controller. To use the tool, press either shift on the keyboard or X on the controller. Tools can only be used on the map window, but the corresponding tool can be found in your inventory. You can also turn the tool slot off and on from the preferences window. This information will be available in your basic info section if you need to refresh later. So this is our tool window down here. And if I push page down, you can see we've now got a map there. And if I try to use it, it'll send us back to Ludus at a cost of a couple hours. And we can choose to do that yes or no here. This is where our tools are gonna go and tools will be important throughout the game. There's a lot of different ones, so remember that slot. All right, now we've got a bit of a basic understanding of the game. We're all set up, ready to go. It's time to go out into this big world of Gladiatora.